dear students uh, uh, we were little pained by some of the messages which were spreading across i must say that we are standing with the students and students as i already i was told the main purpose is not just pass exam to pass the examination main purpose of conducting this examination is making you future ready future ready future governance professional so that you are able to face the challenges which are going to come in your career so i'll just uh, give you some examples with some questions which have been put to me like guideline answers are verbatim benchmark for evaluators so students writing other relevant answers are in a disadvantageous position but uh, as students this is not the uh, what is the right uh, question i say because there is always scope of writing answers in your own words see reading a particular uh, what do you say uh, uh, text the guideline answers are performing the base so uh, the, the guideline answers are taking the base from the study material definitely some copying of some part of the study material would be there in the guideline answers but that does not mean that the students have to exactly copy paste the same verbatim answer no students are expected to express those answers in their own words in their own creativity but at the same point of time the answers should not be some logically different for example i can say if somebody asks you a question on the role and uh, duties of the independent director if somebody comes and writes about the entire process of the appointment process of the independent director does not make sense and the examiner may not be able to give justify by giving marks to that particular question for example i uh, got to know that in this particular examination also there was a lot of students who have mentioned in particular one one answer that uh, penalty one answer one some students i'm not going to pinpoint any student or somebody here but just giving a small reference of some answer sheets penalty somebody has written penalty up to 5 lakhs may be levied well as, whereas the right answer was fine which may be up to rupees 5 lakhs so there is a lot of difference one is penalty of 5 lakhs and fine which may be up to 5 lakhs there is a lot of difference in expressing those two answers and if you are in a corporate world if we give this type of answers that 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 itself will make sure that the company goes into a problem so make sure that the answers there are certain requirements of a professional student while he answers a particular question so we are not a uh, academic uh what is the course uh, we are not running an academic course it's a professional course and student is expected to answer the questions in a professional way there is some other uh, query which was raised which i have here that is guidelines answer are not as per study material especially with respect to practical questions the students the practical questions wherever there are practical questions the students are always advised to uh, what do you say Uh, put in uh, their own methodology they can look uh, go through various uh, methods in which solving the problem and examiners are also advised that uh, if a particular student answers in a different methodology the, the uh, uh, if and the process is right the suitable marks would be given it is not that only one set of uh, answers are always right so that is uh, you uh, you can take it from icsi that such type of instructions are not given that only one particular set of practical way of solving an answer is only a right way of approach examiners are always approach always given a uh, what is a, a guidance that alternative methods of answering questions should also be considered so again there is another query like guideline answers are taken verbatim from the study material dear students study uh, again i am saying again it's related to the first question which i answered study material is one of the basis from which the entire curriculum is set but students are always advised to go through the student company secretary which which contains all the latest developments the case laws which are appearing for example when i was a student i still remember whenever i got a student company secretary just uh, two months before the exam or one month before the exam the many of the uh, guidance notes were given in the student company secretary and even today those are available these are available online today and that gives a lot of value addition and students one more thing which happens is every time after the examination the examination evaluation is also captured the uh, the the what you said the advices of the examiners the uh, what do you say the experience of the examiners are also captured in the student company secretaries and which we as students always used to read that what were the shortcomings which students used to have during those examination i i think all the students should start uh looking at uh, all those uh, uh, what do you say uh, material which is available in the institute student company secretary and always always look out to these 
uh value addition material which are available in the website of the institute so i must say that st- uh, dear students we are always with you the examination i'm just saying that it is just a, a, a small part a stepping stone towards your being a, a governance professional yes you have to pass the examination that is true but more than passing the examination you have to become a competent professional to face this world so please understand that our endeavor is to make all of you competent professionals and make sure that all of you have a great career ahead in your uh, life